Hey everybody, this is Will Doggett, Ableton Live Certified Trainer. I just want to say thanks so much for checking out this tutorial. Now the tutorial you're about to watch is a full lesson from my brand new Getting Started with Ableton Live 11 course. You can find more information about that by clicking the link in the description. But I also have a free gift for you just for watching and checking out this tutorial. Click the link in the description and you can sign up to get my free Getting Started with Ableton Live 11 guide. All right, let's waste some more time. Let's get to it. Okay, so in this lesson, I wanna talk about the brand new updates to CPU metering in Ableton Live. Now, I'm sure nothing has ever sounded more exciting when it comes to creativity and music than the discussion of CPU metering, potentially rivaled uh, second by file management. But trust me, these are really, really great updates, especially for laptop musicians, people who perform on stage with the laptop, uh, and even people in the studio who use tons of plugins. This is a great, great update for you. So let me take you into live and show you exactly what these updates look like. Um, first thing you're going to notice, upper right-hand corner, kind of same uh, look and feel as to what we have here. Uh, this is our CPU meter. Now you'll see this is moving um, maybe far more than what you're used to, what you're expecting. If I click this drop down icon here, basically I can now see the average CPU, uh, which I believe is kind of what the default uh, meter used to show. And then you can also see the current uh, CPU. So you can see both in this, uh, this drop down here, or you can choose just to see average, or again, choose to see current. And so that's a really nice thing to kind of get uh, a better view as to what's going on in your Ableton Live set and get a sense of, um, uh, if things are great or if things are potentially going to cause you problems. Uh, so we have those options in that drop down, which is really great. One of my favorite things though, you're going to find it's, it's kind of hidden away if you're not careful is this brand new show hide button, which is going to go uh, show us CPU meters per track. So for each one of our tracks here, we have a brand new CPU meter. Now this is going to be, again, I think, especially for laptop musicians, this is going to be a really great feature because it's going to show you which of your tracks are using the most CPU. So let's see if we can get these CPU meters to show some activity. So what I want to do is um, go into my instruments here. Actually, let's go into sounds because I want to choose one of these MPE sounds, which tends to be pretty processor intensive. Okay. So as soon as I drop that on, you see that that is uh, metering with CPU. Let's drop another one here and we can kind of compare, okay, which one's using the most CPU. Uh, and then let's just wreak complete and total havoc. So I'm going to group this uh, instrument rack here and then I want to add, um, let's just add a couple more sounds to this. Okay. So let's see if we can get this guy just going completely crazy. Okay. So there's a couple sounds. I, I'm going to just uh, disable the audio on this just for a moment so it doesn't sound crazy, but I'm going to play this. Okay. And so as I play this note, you'll see how we're metering on the CPU. Let me zoom in here so you can see a little better. Um, as I'm playing this, you see the CPU meters are starting to go up. Now, this may be a problem, may not be a problem. Uh, if we can, can compare it here, let's enable this one. Let's actually record and enable both of these. So I can play and see, okay, this one just by itself, it's actually kind of uh, almost on par with this one. So this is a pretty CPU in intensive patch. Uh, now, the more notes I play, the more CPU usage is going to be happening. You see this guy is about to kind of peg out because I'm playing lots and lots of notes. Whereas this one is kind of barely doing anything, right? Um, okay, so there we go, about even. Now, again, you, you may be wondering, who cares? What's the point of this feature? This is an incredible feature for people. Um, I think people that, again, are laptop musicians, people that use uh, their laptop live. Uh, if you have a live set that's particularly big, if you're a keys player that's playing live with plugins, and just when you play, something doesn't feel right. Something feels like your set's having issues. Maybe your set literally is having issues and things are um, starting to slow down. You want to figure out what's causing the problem. Those CPU meters at the track level are going to be incredibly, incredibly helpful and get you um, to, to figure out. Uh, you're going to find really quickly what's going on. Uh, now, the other thing that's great over here is we have this option here that's our overload indicator. Um, and this is going to light up uh, with the text disk. If um, live isn't able to load the samples, this is typically because your hard drive isn't spinning fast enough, or it's going to light up CPU uh, if the CPU is overloaded, right? And so this is going to be a great kind of useful utility. And let's see if I can get this to um, uh, to light up at all. So let's see if I can pull in some stems here uh, and just see what it does. Okay, so let's drop this guy in. Okay, and let's watch up there, upper right-hand corner. 
Yeah, actually nothing happened there. Let me disable uh, some of these tracks. Or let's mute some of these tracks. There we go. So CPU. That means I'm kind of doing too much for this. Uh, so CPU is lighting up. So I'm overloading the CPU of my computer. Now let's press play. Let's see if I can overload the disk. Nope, nope. Looks like my CPU is just constantly pegged uh, right now with all these instrument racks. Oh, there we go. So now you can see we're kind of cycling through disk and CPU. So bad things are occurring. I've got too much going on for this computer while also recording and doing uh, all sorts of things. So um, the additions to CPU uh, metering, the ability to switch between current or average to enable uh, per track CPU metering, which again is going to be an incredible analytics tool uh, when you're trying to figure out and pinpoint what track, uh, what device, what effect is causing issues in your live set. And then again, that brand new overload indicator to show is it the disk or is it the CPU um, is going to be really, really handy. So again, they may, may not sound that exciting, but I can promise you those new features are going to make such a big difference for you as a laptop musician or as a studio musician using lots of plugins and devices. Hey, thanks so much for checking out this tutorial. As a reminder, don't forget about that free gift that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Click the link in the description to download that for free. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I would love to have you give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever we post new content, start a live stream. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, everybody.